All right. Here I am. Dave's going to do the In-N-Out Burger for the first time in his life. This is one of the reasons I came to Vegas. So we're going to check it out. Never eaten here before. So it uh, looks like quite a line. I don't know, man. Quite a line. Looks like it's pretty full, too. I don't know, I guess I'll have to eat outside. I don't know. There's like nowhere to sit. 72 and 73, please. Okay, the whole thing came to 11 and change. If you want to PayPal me my lunch, that's uh, paypal.me slash dcrtv. Uh, and I'm waiting. I think they hit about 85 or 88, 80, something like that. I'm, I'm number 95, so just waiting for the food. All right, uh, this is what I got. I got the, the double, double, whatever. And he got everything animal style, okay? Everything's animal style. So there we go. Um, I'm eating outside because they, all the tables are taken inside. So that's okay. It's not cold out. So here I am. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's about 50 degrees out here. It's fine. So it's like being at a sporting event, right? I need inside, but oh, there's an empty table. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. All right. First time at In-N-Out. This is very good. It's a very, very good burger. Nothing to complain about. The fries. Oh, look at that. Very good. Okay, so that's the problem here. If you're coming with a group of people, two or three, you have somebody go get you a table while you're waiting. So tables are constantly coming open, but if you're waiting, you know, if you're on your own, one person, there's no one to wait, hold your table. Yeah, you kind of have to just take what you get. It's not bad today. It's warmish out here. It's in the shade. It's it's very pleasant. But yeah, there's no indoor seating. This is delicious. I love this kind of Thousand Islandish stuff on the fries. I didn't add anything to this. I don't need to. It's really good. Oh yeah, my first time at In and Out Burger, and A plus for sure. I, as far as Five Guys, it's not as gooey. Much cheaper. I mean, it was eleven bucks. Now I imagine everything in Vegas is more expensive. So if you buy it somewhere else. It's probably going to run you eight or nine, but that's even cheaper than a regular Five Guys, which is easily 15 bucks for burger fries and a drink. So, A plus, absolutely. All right, finished up the burger. Very gooey. It was a bit gooey. It has the uh, kind of a thousand island dressing on it, but look at that. I still got a mountain of fries to go. Oh my goodness. This is good. Very gooey, though. Kind of cheese, the Thousand Island stuff. Very good. That's right, In and Out Burger. No delay. Well, there was a delay. It was about 10, 15 minute wait for the burger. And it's early. It's only 11 o'clock and there's quite an extensive line. Only in Vegas, baby, I guess. I mean, these fries are a drink of the, a full meal in themselves. I mean, wow. I think you see these are some of the but not the best fries I've ever had. This is delicious. Oh yeah, the burger was good, but the fries, they're magnificent. Okay, so that's the deal. One double double animal, 470, one animal fry, 415, one medium soft drink, two dollars, eleven seventy-five. So yeah, animal animal sizing it does cost a little more. I think this normal package meal would run seven, eight, eight, nine dollars, right? A little over eight. Adds about two bucks more to animalize it. So, hey, very good though. All right, just finished up at in and out Burgers here in Vegas, right off the Strip. Uh, it's right on the same little, uh, right near the big wheel there. 
the high roller. And uh, I say it's very good. I don't know if the burger is the best I've ever had in my life, but it's a very good burger. Uh, they do put that kind of, there's a thousand island dish sauce that goes on it, which makes it very good. I didn't put any extra stuff on it. I ordered both animals, you know, whatever. So the burger came with all topped with everything. And, uh, and the fries were extremely delicious. I think I probably would have to say maybe some of the best fries I've ever had, the fries. But the burger was good. I mean, I've had better burgers probably in my life. BGR in Springfield in the D.C. area, they're good. Five Guys, it's a gooey, it is kind of a gooey burger. I don't know if it's quite as gooey as Five Guys. Um, I would rank it right up there, pretty much even with Five Guys. Uh, I don't know. Um, there are different experiences. This place is cheaper, it's less expensive for what you get, and it's a very filling meal. Five Guys, a similar type experience would be four or five bucks more. So I like it. I give it an A+. Plus. Check it off my bucket list. Now I'm going to, oh, look at that. <laughs> I got to subscribe to them. Real, royality, royalty, exotic cars. All right. All right. Mukbang, bucket list, check off. Uh, in and out Burger. It's crowded. It was not even, it's not even noon yet. And there's no tables, you know, even outside on a chilly day. So good luck with that. You might want to just come and take out, meet back in your hotel room. But very good. All right. <laughs> Mukbang. Over.